trained out of Strike Force MMA in Canterbury. He is the reigning, defending, the lightweight champion, Kieran the Stonecutter Jobler. Fighting out of the blue corner. He's a pit fighter standing five feet, five inches tall, with an official weight of 70.1 kilograms. Fighting out of the strike force gym in Christchurch, New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, James Pitbull Bishop. That initial 10, 15 seconds when you're both before the fight waiting off, it's, it feels like no man's land. MMA is mixed martial arts. Oh, big on the touch! Chance and risk getting knocked out! Judo, ground fighting, wrestling, kickboxing, boxing. It's all about getting all the styles together to, to show who's the best. My name is Kieran Jolvin. My MMA record is 17 wins, 7 losses. I'm a New Zealand, Australian and Oceania lightweight champ. My name is James Pitbull Bishop. My overall MMA record is 7-2. Back in 2012, I won South Island Boxing Champ, Amateur Boxing Champ. I got Pitbull from my coach, Carl. Yeah, I come up, sometimes they come to me, oh, I want to call myself this. I'm like, did you call yourself something or did your mama call yourself something? And actually, like, I broke the guy's eye socket. Yes, yeah, so I got Pitbull from that, just going forward the whole time like a Pitbull does, really. And being short and stockyish as well, kind of helps. <laughs> My job, like Dave's job, is a stonemason, so uh, that's like cutting out rocks and stuff. And I had a fight three years ago, I think. Didn't have a fight name, and I had a few fights lined up. My next fight, I was getting some t-shirts done, so I needed a fight name. And that fight before I had, um, I dropped about 400 elbows on the guy, and my coach said it looked like I was cutting a rock because I was dropping them down, so I got the stone cutter from there. To me, he's, he's an absolute professional. You know, you look at athletes, um, around the world and you know they've they've all got the same sort of mindset you know they look after themselves they look after their body you know they're always at training for me it's an honor for me to just work with them went to watch a cage fight in Christchurch like seven years ago watched it live and I thought it was um it was awesome eh? and then from watching it at that time just fell in love and wanted to wanted to do it as well I always get in fights on the rugby field and stuff and I kind of got over me training harder than everyone else in the team. So I decided to come to an individual sport where I could still release the same amount of anger and stuff. And I just found this and fell in love with it then. Any martial arts all about controlling your anger and controlling it so you don't have to be angry. Some people just like doing physical and punching sports, you know, <laughs> you know, that's just who they are. Um, doesn't mean that they're angry people, but you get them inside the octagon where they love to be, and it's a totally different story. These guys don't drink, they don't smoke, they don't party. We go, we used to go to fights. After the fights, we'd be on it, you know. Nowadays, we go to Australia, finish the fight, we'll have a meal, go back to the hotel room. Training's not finished. We, we're going on to the next one and the next one. Next one. So they're athletes and they're professionals. They're definitely good, good role models of someone that wants to look to getting into the sport. The UFC is the major league of MMA. If you're fighting, you want to be in the UFC. That's where the best fighters are, the best global recognition. Like, every, not everyone knows what MMA is, but like, probably more people know what UFC is. Just the, the major league, the biggest around the world. I know a lot of people that have fought in the UFC, and a lot of their chances is timing. It's where they are at the moment. If someone gets injured, someone comes in, they show really good showing, they'll keep, keep calling them up. So definitely, with both of them, yeah, the, the opportunity will come. We're always pushing each other up little by little, so um, it's, a, it's an awesome training relationship, eh? And on the same mission, the same path to get to where we want to get to. It's, it's got to be in you. To do what they're doing now, it's got to be in you. They either join the grind, or they fade into the background, or they, they're quite happy to train here and be part of it, wear the shirts, support the team. We'll, we love them just as much as the champions. The sport makes you humble, because you always got to prove yourself day in and day out. When it comes down to it, steel sharp and steel, and the, the champions bounce off each other. 
see each other win, lose, all that, all those emotions, like you become brothers for sure, eh? Like, I'd do anything for the guy.